Every leader wants their employees to live and work happily ever after. Thankfully, you don't need a magic wand or a fairy godmother to make that dream come true. HR, payroll, and workforce management solutions from UKG give you the tools you need to support and celebrate all your people. Make your fairy tale workplace a reality with UKG. UKG, our purpose is people. This episode is brought to you by PetSmart. Imagine life without your pet. Unthinkable, right? That's why taking care of their well being is job number one. And PetSmart has everything you need to do anything for your pet. PetSmart's expertise in nutrition, training, veterinary care, and more can help you take care of your pet's well being the same way your pet takes care of yours. Care the way pets do. Shop now at PetSmart.com. This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 1665. If you start, Go All the Way, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining me here on another weekly bonus episode of ORD. I'm your host, Greg Audino, and in this week's Sunday Extra, we're going to be sharing an old episode from Optimal Health Daily, in which uh, we covered an article from Steve Cam called If You Start, Go All the Way, as I just mentioned. I think you're going to like this one, as it talks about accountability when it comes to all kinds of goals we set, not just health goals. So without further ado, let's hear Dr. Neil's narration and commentary as we optimize your life. If you start, go all the way by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. I want you to think back to the last time you truly threw yourself 100% into transforming your life. If you're like me, that might be difficult. You see, I don't know what it is about us nerds but we're often afraid to try with all of our effort. We're afraid of failing, that giving our all and not succeeding is a knock against who we are at our core. If we don't put it all on the line, then we are protected. So instead of going all in, of giving everything we've got, we kind of half it. We give half an effort, and when things fail, we're quick to say, this system doesn't work, or, well, I didn't really try, or, I knew it would fail. For some reason, we hold back, almost as if it's preferred to actually going all in on something. Why? Because if we've given our all and we still fail, what's left? If we go all in and fail, we tell ourselves that we are failures. We aren't good enough. In reality, giving our all and then failing is one of the best things that could possibly happen to us. When we give max effort and we fail, we're only setting ourselves to level up. When we put it all on the line and then fail, we've taken the first step to true improvement. If you half your way through a job interview or college application and things didn't go well, you're stuck wondering, what if I had actually tried? If you go all in on either of those things and fail, you can quickly move on to the next opportunity, making improvements to your strategy and tweaks to your resume. In the same vein, If you half your way to transforming your body and things don't work, you'll never know why it didn't work. If you are going to get in shape, go all the way. Actively work towards bettering yourself every day and see what you're capable of. Don't think in terms of days or weeks, but rather for the rest of your life. You're not dieting. You're not just exercising to look good in a bathing suit for a few weeks each summer. You're doing it to build a better body for the rest of your life. This is all, of course, assuming things don't work out when you go all in. The far more likely scenario is that things will work out. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, has found ways to succeed through going all in and refusing to consider failure. So remember, if you're going to try, go all the way. It could mean derision. It could mean mockery, isolation. Isolation is the gift. All the others are a test of your endurance, of how much you really want to do it. and you'll do it, despite rejection and the worst odds. And it will be better than anything else you can imagine. If you're going to try, go all the way. You will be alone with the gods, and the nights will flame with fire. You will ride life straight to perfect laughter. It's the only good fight there is. Of course, our little green friend Yoda said it more succinctly. Do or do not, there is no try. Yes or no, not guess so. To this day, I still remember a powerful lesson that Mr. Miyagi taught Daniel-san in The Karate Kid. 
When Miyagi asks Daniel if he wants to learn karate, Daniel replies with a half, yeah, I guess so. In response, Mr. Miyagi provided Daniel with an analogy. If you forge a path in the middle of the road where you do not commit, you will eventually get run over. But if you take a stand and commit by forging a path on one side of the road, you will thrive. For Daniel's son, this was an easy lesson to understand. He could either not do karate and thus avoid fighting Johnny Lawrence, no mercy, stay safe and spend the rest of his life scared, or he could go all the way, apply himself, and focus on the lessons learned from Miyagi. If he were to only go halfway, yeah, I guess so, he could find himself in a world of trouble when his half training gets himself hurt. Oftentimes we think that just dipping our toe into the water or going halfway is an easy way to try something without the fear of failure or having to put forth max effort. This doesn't mean adopting 50 new habits at once, but rather truly committing to some new small changes in your life. With karate, with deadlifting, and building a business, yeah, I guess so, doesn't give you a chance to succeed. It doesn't show you what you're truly capable of, and oftentimes, it can do more harm than good. I remember a lesson my mom taught me when teaching me to drive. When I got ready to pull into traffic for the first time, she told me, Stephen, yeah, she still called me that, you either pull into traffic or you don't. Go halfway and you're screwed. So if you're gonna go, get your butt out there. Thanks, Ma. Go all the way and don't half it. I wish Ron Swanson from Parks and Recreation was a real person, as I would very much like to hang out with him. Sure, he's full of amazing quotables, but there's one in particular that always stuck out. Never half two things. Whole one thing. Anytime you can draw a brilliant life lesson from a quote that says twice, you better listen up. Be more like Swanson. Whole your life. We get one shot at life on this planet and half think things for fear of failure or rejection, or worse, fear of success, isn't going to get you what you want. It's time to step outside that comfort zone and get comfortable with being uncomfortable. I'm not saying you need to go full paleo and strength train seven days a week and burn yourself out. Instead, I'm saying see what happens when you dedicate yourself to a plan in full. Don't allow self-sabotage and find out where it takes you. What are you currently half And what are you afraid to go all the way on? Next, what's one step you can take today to move closer to going all in, whole on those things? My answer, I'm working on a super secret project that I've been putting off for too long and it was due to many frequent trips that I couldn't say no to. So I've essentially cleared my travel schedule for the next few months to stop half the travel, half the projects, which I was afraid to start for a few reasons, and half my training. Yes, that's three half but bear with me. Zing. Instead, my focus is on two key nerd fitness projects and building strength, and still sucking at the violin. You just listened to the post titled, If You Start, Go All The Way, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Priceline presents, go to your happy price. What's up? It's Kaylee Cuoco. When it comes to travel, we all have a happy place. You can see yourself already there. It's beautiful. It might be sunny and sandy for some, neon and urban for others, deserts or rainforests or hiking trails. With Priceline, you can get to your happy place for a happy price with deals you really can't find anywhere else like up to 60% off select hotels to Costa Rica or five-star hotels for two-star prices in Cabo. Go to Priceline.com and travel to your happy place for a happy price. All right, see ya. I'm off to Miami. No, actually, wow, look at that. No, I'm going to Hawaii now. Ooh, Cancun looks nice. You know what? Belize looks pretty nice this time of year. Or, mmm, Palm Springs. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price, price line. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. I know Stephen and I have bombarded you with inspiring quotes for today, but I couldn't help myself. Steve's post reminded me of something I recently read. It compliments so much of what Steve was trying to convey. Again, I just couldn't help myself. Quote, in response to what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, which was made famous by the philosopher Nietzsche, Dr. Angela Duckworth replies, Finding a way out of the suffering 
is what does the strengthening. End quote. A perfect example of this is a heart attack. If a person suffers from one heart attack and they survive, that is fantastic. But unfortunately, a heart attack doesn't make their heart stronger. It makes it weaker. So surviving a heart attack doesn't in itself make you strong. Instead, we need to find ways to make the heart strong again. We need to find ways to adapt to this condition and make the body strong again. The same applies to other situations in life. We've all had moments where something so devastating or humiliating happened to us that we're deathly afraid of experiencing that situation ever, ever, ever again. That didn't make us stronger then. It made us weaker instead. So it's better to think about what didn't go as well and learn from it. Make some adjustments, adapt, and then try again. So going back to Dr. Angela Duckworth, she calls this grit and wrote a whole book on the topic So, be gritty. Find a way out of the suffering, as Dr. Duckworth says. It's that process and that experience that truly makes us stronger and grittier. All right, that'll do it from me for today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend if you're listening in real time. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for the Sunday show and where your optimal life awaits.